you know, I, I just address those guys. And, you know, I, I've been a college coach for 34 years, including the World Series games and the things like that. I, I, you know, that right there had to rank right up there with some of the most incredible performances by individuals as well as a team to show resiliency. And, you know, I mean, that uh, giving up that two-out ground slam, you know, to, to just not completely collapse after having done things like that so many times <laughs> during the year. Uh, I was very proud of them. I, I, you know, I thought pitching-wise, the turning point of the game was was McDaniel stepping up and uh, giving us, you know, um, four plus. Uh, what did he give us? Uh, gave us five innings. I mean, it was was huge. You know, I mean, uh, he 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 was a difference in the game for us uh, on the pitcher's mouth. And uh, you know, uh, offensively, the, these two big guys here, uh, you know, they they were they were. Big time force uh, with the home runs and just just stepping up. Uh, they both had uh, career type days that you you don't you don't forget. You know, in, in, in a in a pretty big stage and facing elimination to step up like that's incredible. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm seeing the ball really well, and uh, the guys around me are making it really easy. Skillsy, those guys, Jake Wright, Doc Rivers, Corey Wood, just stepping up and making it easy on me and making uh, having guys on base. And then getting their own, and I know I'm going to get mine, and I know we can win games if we all just chip in and do what we can do. It always hurts when you uh, let your teammates down and you don't pick your pitchers up when they make pitches. Uh, but it felt really good to help uh, help the team win at the end of the day because that's what it's all about this time of year. It's winning games. You do anything you can to win a game. So it felt really good at the end of the game. It reminds me a lot of uh, last year, which was the best offensive team I've been on in my college career. But uh, it's a lot. It's a lot different than last year too. At the same time, last year we had we had three, four, five guys that could drive the ball out of the park at any time, and this year we got we got all those guys. But we got guys that can steal bases. We got guys that with experience. We got guys that are just coming into their own, and it's amazing and it's awesome having Skillsy be a part of it and having all those guys be a part of it at the same time this year. So uh, I don't know what it is about the tournament. I just I just don't want to go home. I don't want to say goodbye to these guys. So. Uh, we got to win games, and you got to do whatever you can. Um, I was just trying to get a man on, man on base. Um, being down runs, you got to get as many people on as you can. Um, it's all about quality takes and just handing it off to the next person. Yeah, um, we've had a couple of them throughout the season, so uh, we know how to kind of deal with it. Plus, coach will give us all the cues to be ready for tomorrow. So, more focused on going home, getting some rest, and being ready for two games tomorrow. How exciting is it to win a game like this, uh, giving up a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth and, and coming by top of the ninth and coming back again? It's a heart attack. <laughs> it's a roller coaster. I feel like I'm at six flags right now. But, hey, um, it happens. Pitchers have been picking us up for parts of the year. We pick them up. Um, it's how it is. You just rely on each other. Kyle, you know, Bearman touched a little bit about the offense. I mean, it wasn't like just to hit behind a guy like that. Uh, it definitely gives me some security. For sure, because um, I know I'm going to get pitches to hit, especially with Parker behind me too. That kid absolutely rakes. So um, you know you're going to get your pitch and just don't miss it. So. And then you caught Garrett McDaniel today. Coach touched on him his statement, the, his best outing as a shot oh, this yeah. year, and, and that, you know we expect a big day from him, and he, he delivered today. What, what was he doing that was different today than he's been doing this year? Uh, I think he just had more confidence. Um, came out, really showed that he wanted to be there. Uh, yeah, that had a different look in his eye. Um, from the different times I've caught him this year, and his two seam was working, locating, just letting it eat. So it's really good to see him come out, and I know that kid's going to do great things someday. So, you know, it, it's amazing the ups and downs in, in one single game of baseball. It seems like we we do this a lot, you know. It, uh, but you know, I, I'm not going to complain about their will to win. You know, they 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 could have easily tossed a towel in down seven to one early and um you know it, it uh was seven to two and you know we just scrapped and scrapped and hung around that that soft toss in the right hand it was frustrating us and and things like that and you know i felt good if we could ever get him out of the game that we knew their bullpen pieces and we had faced them and had had some success against them so i felt like you know that you know if we could just 
keep nudging closer, but it seemed like every time we scored or did something, we turned right around and gave one back again, you know, and, and didn't make them work real hard to get it. And, uh, you know, some of that stuff was frustrating. But, uh, you know, it kind of kind of kind of is who, who, who we have been a lot, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know that we're going to be able to survive tomorrow if we don't catch the ball. We, we've got, you know, we're, we're going to get hit. We're going to give up some runs. We're going to have to score some runs. But you know the biggest part of that is, is is just you know I mean we we made four errors we we can't do that tomorrow you know we we've got to catch the balls we ought to catch you know we made a couple of great plays here and there you know uh, in, in the outfield made a made a Rivers made a great play almost made one in center I mean we just we we've got to make those plays and uh, you know we'll see you know we'll see what happens I mean anything can happen if we can win game one you know that that that's you know, you know, when when everything's riding on it from that point on, it'll be you know be interesting to see. You know, we're we're, you know, we're we're like anybody that's in this position. You're, you're, um, you know, you're kind of taking volunteers from here on out. You know, who can give you an inning? Uh, you know, without putting putting their health in jeopardy. And yeah, I was going to ask that. You have to win one game first, but in order to play on Sunday, you got to win two. You got to throw eighteen innings. Mm -hmm. um, have any idea where those are coming from? Is Morgan Hyde even available? A kid is brewing Juco, or I mean. Oh, I mean, you know, <laughs> if it comes down to it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, at this point, I mean, you know, I mean, Jake Wright was a pitcher out of high school. I mean, honestly, you know, I, I what what you don't realize is the first championship team I ever had at Coastal Carolina. Chad Oxendine was our was a, our backup catcher. We got down in the second championship game to Winthrop. We had to we had to play a second game to win the championship. He hadn't pitched in two years of college. hadn't thrown one bullpen. I just flipped him the ball. I said, "Go down there and get loose, man. You 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 got to get it done." He went four innings, and we ended up winning late. Uh, you know, we get to that point tomorrow. We'll do whatever we have to do. But you know, right now it's you know, you know, right right now we'll you know we got. Uh, one, well, you know, two rested guys. I just, you know, they they, they got to get, they got to churn up a bunch of innings in game one. And if we go from there, we'll, we'll see what happens. And who are those two? Uh, Kitchen and Higgins. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully we can, you know, like I said, if they, they can, they're going to have to throw at least, at least six innings, the two of them guys. I don't, I don't see how we piecemeal it together any other way, personally, you know, but, uh, you know, depending on how they do, I, I, you know, it'll be interesting to see, you know, who who they ultimately, you know, who who Monroe throws at us, you know. So we'll, we'll just we'll see. You know, we we just we got to come and catch the baseball, and don't walk guys, and uh, force them to earn everything they get. And you know, we got we got to swing the bat. We got to keep continue to hit. Good. Uh, it's, it's, you know, I mean, I think the, 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 the true, the true Coastal Carolina baseball players coming out at them. I, I think some of them are even surprising themselves because, uh, you know, there's some, you know, guys that, you know, have, you know, buying in way deeper right now than they've ever bought into the whole deal in their whole career. And, you know, it, it, it shows, you know, they, they keep battling. Like I said, it was, you know, very easy to give up today. You know, two or three times, real easy to quit, you know, and they never did quit and they kept responding. And, you know, again, for us to have a, have a nice press conference tomorrow night, we're going to have to do that all day long. And, uh, you know, just Garrett, I mean, just, you know, coming like he didn't give you the amount of time that he did, he uh, was all, all yeah. clear high. I mean, just touch on this as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I totally agree with, uh, with Kyle. He, he had a different look in his eye today. You know, I think he had that look more so in the fall when he was here and was so successful in our our games against uh, Clemson and Wilmington. And, and, you know, I think, um, you know, I think he lost a little confidence early. You know, he just being being the third guy in the rotation, he ended up pulling some of the very toughest teams we were playing, you know, and it just kind of worked out that way. And, uh, you know, I think it uh, beat him down a little bit. Then he had the injury and, you know, you, you, you bring him back and I have to pitch him against Clemson and 
you know, he's a little tentative and, you know, had some of their older guys, you know, kind of put some swings on some things and that knocked him back down to the ground again. And, you know, the other day I thought was a kind of coming out opportunity the other when we were here against Appalachian getting our brains beat out that one game and I put him out there and, you know, I just, you know, I, he started to flounder a little bit and I just went out there myself and I just told him, I said, man, <laughs> I said, I'm not. Uh, you're, you're finishing this thing. Where, where, you know, ever, ever, how much it takes you to do it, that's what it's going to take to do it. Because I'm not coming out here to get you. I said, you better, you better start competing and get yourself off the field. And all of a sudden, it, you know, it started to click a little bit for him. And uh, I thought he used that today to carry over to this opportunity. Where, you know, I mean, he honestly. Uh, I didn't really feel like he sped himself up one single time. I thought he did a fantastic job. When you go out to the third base coach of Fox, Fox and the offense is up, what are your thoughts with this offense? Uh, just trying as much as anything to get a feel for their, their pitcher and what they do and not try to create something that I don't have to. I don't have to force and create opportunities. You know, a lot of times I, you know, I, 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 I had a had a guy tell me many many years ago. You know, when you're not a thousand percent sure exactly what play to put on, don't put anything on. Just let it ride. And when I usually live by that, it tends to work. Every now and then, you try to force something. And again, it might even be the right thing to try to force, but if you don't execute it, you know, it, it, it you know, it, it looks, it comes out looking bad, you know. But you know, I thought, I thought, uh, you know, tonight, I mean, you know, outside of skills, we didn't really try to run. We were down, you know. We we had we had a couple opportunities too, and I just thought it wasn't worth the risk, you know. Just somebody, even as frustrating as it was, somebody had to put a swing on the ball to get us going, and Kyle, you know, kind of got that one off the end and muscled it out of the park and. Went from five down to three down, and you said, "Hey, we're we're not dead yet," you know. So, you know, and I know they had a lot of confidence off of the subby guy. I mean, we we've we we've done good things against him in the three times we've seen him.